actually there are two types of conditions related to the abnormal presence of endometrial tissue adenomyosis and endometriosis adenomyosis occurs when the endometrial tissues which normally lies inside the uterus rolls into the muscle wall of the uterus meanwhile endometriosis occurs when endometrial tissue rolls outside the uterus such as on the ovaries fallopian tube and all the organs in the pelvis or outside the pelvic region both conditions can lead to significant discomfort and affect your quality of life such as pelvic menstrual bleeding severe menstrual cramps chronic pelvic pain, pain during intercourse, pain when urinating, defecating, more common in endometriosis, backache. Most patients have no obvious symptoms, only when you experience severe pain should you seek medical attention. This condition can cause difficulty in getting pregnant. The main causes still are known, but there are some theories. There is opinion that they are hereditary. About 2-5% of teens with very healthy periods have adenomyosis. Your risk is higher if you have given birth at least once, have had surgery on your uterus, such as C-section, thyroid removal, or a dilatation and curative. Diagnosis can be challenging, often made through MRI on your cell, and the definitive diagnosis through laparoscopy. Common treatments for both include pain relief, hormonal therapies, surgical options, and lifestyle modifications. While adenomyosis and endometriosis can be painful, they are not life-threatening. There are various treatments available to help manage symptoms and improve your quality of life.